Hello everybody. So today we will be dealing about some of the strategies that we could use for solving the NCLEX RN or the HAD exam questions. Now how to solve these questions? Remember that the first strategy that you could use is focus on the client. The question usually gives you a description of, of, about the patient's details or the situation in the hospital. When you get such a situation, remember to concentrate on the patient's problems. Like for example, the patient might be in pain or the patient has anxiety. In all these cases, you will have to give importance to the what the patient says. Like for example, in communication question, when the patient says, I am having pain, always your answer could be, oh, you are having pain. So that is one thing that you have to keep in mind. It might be any of the question, but see that you focus only on the client and the client's problem. The second strategy that we could say is never misread a question. Mostly what happens is when a candidate reads a question, the candidate might be in real tension. So they miss out certain words which could affect your options or it could affect your decisions. So remember to concentrate and read the question properly. There are certain words like for example, inappropriate or an extra education. When these words comes in the question, you are supposed to be selecting the wrong answer. If you do not understand or you miss out these words, you can go in for the wrong options and yes, you do not get the answer correct. So remember to read the question properly. That is our second strategy. Now the third strategy that what we could say is, is concentrate on A, B, C. That is the airway, breathing and circulation. When you have questions which ask you, what is the first thing that you give importance to or what is the priority? In such a case, you will give importance to airway first because that is the first thing that you need to deal with. So remember about the A, B, C, anywhere, any of the questions, mostly dealing with the airway, like for example, suction the airway or might be providing oxygen, all this could be the correct answer. So remember, it could be the airway in most of the answers. Now the second thing that you have to give importance is safety. Any patient who is very violent is going to be getting injured either by self or it could be somebody else who is going to harm him. So in most of the questions, you need to give importance for safety. Like for example, a patient who is falling with seizures on a roadside, you will always give priority to safety because you have to move the patient out from any nearby accidents or troubles that the person can get. Now the third one or sorry the last fifth one is the nursing process. Now as such as the nursing process says, the first option that we need to select is the assessment option. Nursing process, the first step itself says assessment. You can always check the four options. And in that four options, the first thing that you will select is the assessment. Like for example, assess the vital signs or assess for any color changes of the skin or assess for the pulse. When you see such options, you can always decide that would be the correct answer. So these are only some of the strategies that you could use. So for any further things, yes, you can always contact MedCity or watch for our further videos. Thank you.